What if I told you the UFO UAP abductions have happened long before Roswell, and not Egypt or the Aztecs, but far up north? The Wild Hunt of Odin was an event in the Germanic folklore such as Scandinavia, Britain, and Germany. It's a mythological chase of hunters that are supernatural beings that are thought to be various Valkyries, elves, and ghosts are led by Odin and sometimes a female goddess deity in Norse mythology. The Valkyries are female deities that would guide the dead to Odin's hall, but this was a totally different situation. In this painting, is a depiction of the Wild Hunt of Odin by Peter Nikolai Arbo in 1872. This is a giant catastrophic event that storms across the sky of ancient Scandinavia and the Old World in the north. If you saw this, it would be like seeing a war or experiencing a plague. In fact, many believed it was an omen to such events. Abduction. To witness this event has to be marveling, and many would find a hiding place. Those that were unfortunate enough to witness this would be abducted by the hunters and join the underworld or the fairies to the fairy kingdom. Some were pulled from their sleep to join the Calvacade. There is an uncanny similarity to the UFO sightings and alien abductions in our modern times, in my opinion. Just like with the biblical references, such as chariots of fire and others, the ancient peoples were perhaps seeing a galactic alien encounter, but didn't have the understanding of what they were witnessing. Or the fallen ones were disguised as these beings and are now appearing as visitors from another world. Fairies and Mothman Odin had ravens. Those are the flying things in the painting. They also remind me of Mothman sightings we have witnessed and the similarities to the fairy type creature just like how Mothman chases people and appears as an omen to an event. This event mirrors that and the fairies in this folklore fly and abduct people in the same way as the Mothman does. More painting details. Notice the giant light in the top right, it appears to be the sun, but in my opinion, considering it's night, because of the moon, perhaps, it's multiple UFOs, or as they call now, UAPs, or orbs, in that part of the sky, and it reminds me of a mothership. Biblical Fallen Angel Connection Interdimensional Beings As I have discussed on this channel, that the old gods are fallen angels, in my opinion, and now they appear as these aliens because in our modern age with Christianity, appearing as gods won't be as effective, so they appear as visitors from another planet, or these beings have something to do with the fallen realm. I go by the theory, now as I'm older, of the interdimensional beings. I have talked about this on my channel, that all of these beings are from another dimension, including these aliens, fairies, gods, are from the same realm, and they are fallen and in rebellion. I understand if you don't believe in the biblical explanation. Something interesting is the spiritualists believe in these things too. In fact, this
theory of interdimensional beings originates from occultic thinking. The Bible says in Revelation, in 1613, And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. These frog-like beings are believed to be an alien called the Greys in the Christian community because the resemblance a gray alien has to a frog. It's interesting how the Bible depicts a being like this before the alien encounters we have today. Also, the dragon is a reptilian being, obviously. Conclusion, I invite you to subscribe if you like this content. In the conclusion of this video, this is an explanation of the wild hunt of Odin and the connection to the theories of interdimensional alien beings and some background in my opinion about it. Feel free to put your thoughts below. Thank you for watching.